वेलकम टू अचल व्यूज द टॉपिक फॉर टूडेज डिस्कशन इज थ्रकॉटमी दैट इज ओपन थ्रकॉटमी इट विल बी ए स्टेप बाई स्टेप गाइड फॉर द बिगनर्स एंड सजिटेनी एंड वी हैव डिजाइन दिस वीडियो टूटोरियल इन कीपिंग इन माइंड द इंटरेस्ट ऑफ ट्रेनिंग दैट द इंडिकेशन ऑफ ओपन थ्रकॉटमी आर लेस एंड लेस इन द प्रेजेंट इरा एंड फ्रेंड्स ओपन थ्रकॉटमी और थ्रकॉटमी फॉर दैट मैटर इज ए लाइफ सेविंग प्रोसीजर एंड एवरी सर्जन और सजिटेनी should have this technique in their armamentarium because when uh, it may be required at odd hours and it can be a, a difference between life and death for a patient of chest trauma so uh, this will be a complete guide for all the trainees and uh, beginners so stay tuned till the end we have demonstrated uh, all the essential step uh, initially we have a short theory part as we do in all our uh, videos followed by live demonstration of the surgery so happy learning friends stay tuned at, till the end so the indication of thrakotomy can be the surgical treatment of distal aortic cardiac esophageal and pulmonary diseases the distal thoracic aortic disease can be dissection rupture or aneurysmal disease the cardiac disease may be congenital cardiac defects valvular diseases specific location of coronary artery disease pericardial diseases and certain tumors of the heart and pericardium the pulmonary malignancy primary of metastasis pleural malignancy and pyma are other indication for the thrakotomy the indication uh, like uh, the cardiac the uh, thoracic these are mainly under the domain of uh, ct vas surgeon and uh, we will be called upon to do the thrakotomy for a patient of uh, maybe uh, the malignancy of the esophagus or it can be the uh, trauma indication so we will be focusing our discussion on those parts as i said uh, in adults esophageal cancer is one of the most common indication and tracheoesophageal fistula in infants the right side thrakotomy is best for the mid esophageal diseases and left side thrakotomy allows better access to the distal esophagus a transsital approach may be used as per the case to case basis and the emergency indication for thrakotomy will be massive hemothorax cardiac resuscitation uh, and decortication of the entire lung segment which we will uh, discuss in uh, subsequent part of the video in in detail the indication in a trauma patient uh, typically include shock and arrest at presentation or you are suspecting a specific diagnosis like blunt aortic injury or there is ongoing thoracic hemorrhage Uh, trainees often confuse uh, this indication so the indication of ongoing thoracic hemorrhage means uh, that there is a more than 1500 ml of blood output after placing a icd that you placed a icd and there is more than 1.5 liter blood in the chest tube or patient is having persistent bleed of more than 250 ml per hour for consecutive 3 hours then it becomes a indication of uh, emergency thrakotomy so generally uh, you will be called upon to do the thrakotomy i mean the thrakotomy after traumatic injury of the chest in three scenarios only that is patient is in shock or cardiac arrest and the cause is suspected intrathoracic uh, lesion which can be corrected after thrakotomy or the, you have a specific diagnosis of penetrating cardiac or blunt aortic injury and or there is a evidence of ongoing thoracic hemorrhage as i have discussed uh just in the uh, previous part of video so friends uh, these are these are the main indication of open thrakotomy and i urge my viewers uh, that uh, these uh, video tutorial are meant for education information only and are not a substitute of uh, proper surgical rigorous training and uh, no trainee should attempt any uh, procedure without the guidance and supervision of a qualified surgeon the technique and position of the patient so uh, for right thrakotomy patient will be placed in a left lateral position so patient is placed with ipsi lateral side elevated that means uh, if you are planning right thrakotomy as the uh, this case as in this case so patient will be in left lateral position with the right side up and it, he will be tilted further uh, 30 to 45 degree that is the angle with the horizontal will be 30 to 45 degree and uh, so this is called a sky fall position and the arm is abducted above the head resting on the arm rest or of the pillow and we elevate the bridge of the 
टेबल और प्लेस सैंड बैग बिनीथ दी रिप केज सो दैट द द रिप केज ऑन द राइट साइड और द अब अपर साइड ओपन अप एंड तो सो द ब्रिज ऑफ द टेबल इज ब्रोकन लाइक इन जैक नाइफ और इन द किडनी पोजिशन एंड यूजली द फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ इंटरकॉल द स्पेस बिटवीन फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ रिप इज यूजली द स्पेस बी एंटर बट इट कैन बी मॉडिफाइड डिपेंडिंग ऑन द पोजिशन सो द इंसिजन इज लोअर सो वी कैन बिलो गो बिलो द फिफ्थ और इफ द इंसिजन वेरी हाई वी कैन गो अब द फोर्थ बट द फोर्थ एंड फिफ्थ अलॉन्ग द स्पीड बॉर्ड ऑफ द फिफ्थ रिप इज द यूजली सेफेस्ट एंट्री ऑफ द चेस्ट एंड द इंटरकॉस्टल मस्कुलेचर आर डिवाइडेड अलॉन्ग स्पीड बॉर्डर ऑफ द रिप to prevent damage to the damage to the neurovascular bundle that runs along the inferior border of the rib that all of you uh, know already so basically there are two type of trachotomy described in literature and one is posterior lateral another is anterior lateral so the posterior lateral trachotomy it is the gold standard and that's what we are demonstrating in this video it provide access to all the thoracic viscera mainly used for pulmonary section pneumonectomy or lobectomy chest valve section or esophageal surgery incision is made with patient in lateral decubit position which i have, have already discussed and it start between the scapula and mid spinal level mid spinal line and extend laterally to anterior axillary line so friends uh, this is the most common and the patient friendly uh, incision that posterior lateral trachotomy and the post operative morbidity is less because it is a muscle sparing and no major muscles are cut and uh, patient has a rapid or better recovery as compared to the anterior lateral anterior lateral trachotomy so another approach is anterior lateral incision or anterior lateral trachotomy and uh, it may be used for cardiac pulmonary or esophageal pathology incision runs from the lateral border of sternum to mid axillary line at fourth or fifth interostal space and uh, it divides to the pectoral major and serratus anterior muscle so friends uh, as i said it uh, may uh, uh, it may fall under the domain of city west uh, surgeons but as a general surgeon or ga surgeon you will really need this incision because they are highly painful and uh, they are more cumbersome also so the technique or the gold standard is posterior trachotomy that we will demonstrate in this video so uh, let's start our uh, practical demonstration with the famous quote by William Osler that he who study medicine without books sails an uncharted sea but he who study medicine without patient does not go to a sea at all so let's uh, uh, have a, our theory theoretical background solid and our practical background solid and we should always sail in a chartered sea so coming to the index case uh, This was a, 50, a lady, 56 year old female, a case of mid thoracic squamous cell carcinoma esophagus. She had already received neutral chemotherapy with good response, and now patient was planned for McKeown uh, three field open uh, esophagectomy. Friends, uh, the laparoscopic esophagectomy is the I mean gold standard or should be the preferred approach in the present era. But uh, if there are some hurdles. or uh, if there are some uh, resource con uh, resource uh, constra constraints or if there is a complication during uh, uh, lap thoracoscopic uh, esophagectomy then you may uh, require to convert and then it becomes a life saving procedure uh, that is open thoracotomy so patient is under general anesthesia with double lumen uh, double lung ventilation dlt tube in c2 and that will help uh, us to uh, basically enter the chest safely and work uh, more efficiently as the epsilateral lung is collapsed uh, patient is left lateral position uh, after placing the double lung double lumen tube patient is uh, change to left lateral position and we place a sand bag below the rib cage so that the upper rib cage opens up or the table may be uh, the table bar may be uh, raised as in the jack knife position or a, like a kidney bridge and uh, patient is then uh, uh, tilted uh, towards uh, a semi prone position that is falling forward or sky falling position with the angle of 35 to 45 degree depending on the convenience of the surgeon the right leg is flexed at the knee with pillow in between two legs right arm supported in the armrest uh, or over the pillow friends for uh, uh, 
thracoscopic or laparoscopic assisted esophagectomy. Uh, now the same position is used that we have described just now, and uh, we have moved from the prone position uh, to the this uh, semi-prone position or that is falling forward position. And uh, in case uh, conversion required, so without changing position, we, uh, we can do the thracotomy in the same position. So this is the position we use for open thracotomy or for the laparoscopic thracotomy, uh, the thracoscopic surgery of the esophagus. So patient is under a general anesthesia with a double lumen tube in a semi-prone position, and we have given this incision uh, from the uh, scapular tip. The scapular tip is marked. And uh, this incision extends from the scapula.